Most of the time, build guides for Diablo 2 focus on end game setups that you can usually only get after farming or trading for a very long time. Today we're going to go in the other direction and help all the new players in Diablo 2 Resurrected get started, this time with the Druid. Easily one of the stronger starter builds in the game, the Fire Druid can make his way through normal quite easily and even get a bit of the way into Nightmare before needing to respec into something more suitable. As usual, the starter stats are quite simple. Enough strength for equipment and the rest into vitality. For a new player, this generally means a bit of a stair-step approach, aiming for 35 strength in Act 1, 45 or 50 in Act 2, and then reaching the 60 to 70 range over the course of Acts 3 and 4. This is mainly so that the most options are open for equipment in normal, and you'll also kind of want this so you can equip plated belts for more mana potions. That is, unless you're really lucky to find a good socketed druid pelt and put some tier runes in it for mana recovery. As with the sorceress, your most important equipment for normal, unless you find some very specific items, is going to be your stealth armor and a leaf staff. The stealth is a rune word made from the runes Tal and Eth, which are easy to get from farming the Countess in Act 1 and generally made in light armor like studded leather or a breastplate so that you keep full run walk speed and don't suffer any extra stamina drain. As far as leaf, this is a situation where it's fine to go with the cheapest two socket short staff you can find since you don't benefit from the sorcerer skills anyway. This is made with the runes Tear and Rawl in the two sockets that you get in the staff and it gives you a significant plus three fire skills which is very helpful. As far as the rest of the gear, a druid pelt with plus to your fire skills or even some of the summons will be a good find, even more so if it has sockets, though generally you're going to be sticking with a tier helm made with two tier runes for mana recovery, or if you're a bit further in and get lucky with runes, a lore helm which uses ort and soul to give extra plus skills among other nice mods. And yes, both of these can be made in basic or superior druid pelts as well, if you want to stack them with the random plus skills those can get. In the boots, belt, and glove spaces, we want to focus in on resist, magic find, and faster movement or recovery modifiers depending on which armor piece it is. Belt-wise, you're looking for four rows if possible, but if you can make a tier helm, then three rows will be fine. This build is a bit mana hungry, so you'll generally need these mana potions all the way through Nightmare unless you have some other form of mana recovery, such as mana per kill. In the rings and amulet slots, it's a similar deal to the boots, belt, and glove segment, with resist, magic find, etc. being super important, and while you may expect faster casts to be useful for a caster, in this case it's not super important since there is a casting delay on the fire skills that makes it pretty, well, useless, as faster casts only affects the animation, not the cooldown period. In terms of skills, you've probably already figured out a bit of this character's theme. Fire. It's in the name after all, so we obviously start out with Firestorm. This gives you that early spell damage and serves as a synergy to the other skills, so it's fine to put your starting points into, and as you progress further you will get access to higher level spells, and which one you choose can be of a bit of a personal preference. Fissure is especially popular and a really safe choice to focus on. It can also be handy to have one point in Molten Boulder, even if you only want to get that just one point into it but you want it as a hot keyed spell as well to shove enemies around. Generally you won't get high enough level to worry about using Armageddon before fire damage becomes depreciated, so I would generally recommend figuring out which of the non-Armageddon fire spells you like the most as far as its attack pattern and focusing on that. Though generally speaking, Firestorm is just your early AoE damage, Fissure is late AoE damage, Molten Boulder is, as we said, your positioning tool, and Volcano is good for large stationary targets or fire immunes, which aren't a major problem in normal, but there is one to be dealt with. Fissure is often the most popular of these because it has a really nice synergy profile by pairing with your early Firestorm and late Volcano. Also, depending on how much you level up, summons can be a pretty decent one point wonder as well for this, especially in the level 30 plus club where you can get a bear and an oak sage, basically to serve as a distraction in a tank. This build tends to make its way into Nightmare a bit better than other low level builds, and each of its skills can be fairly useful, so you have a little bit more freedom in terms of how you want to flavor it. That said, it will need to be respect in Nightmare unfortunately, because Fire just can't keep up with the late Nightmare or early Hell kind of enemies compared to Wind Druids or Shapeshifter options. 